All right, Mixed Master B here for MMB Radio, and on the line right now I have the lovely Miss Michelle Game. How are you today? I'm great. How are you today? Awesome. Now that you're on the line with us, um, thank you thank for taking you. the time out to call us. I mean, I really appreciate it. I know you have a, a hectic schedule, but you take the time out to talk to us today, so I really appreciate that. Of course, of course, any time. So, as everybody knows, we've been hyping this up for a while now that you're going to be on the show today. You are a model, right? Yes, I am. Well, no. one of the things I do, yes, I model. <laughs> okay. The woman of many traits. So, uh, a model slash entrepreneur slash what have you. Um, if you had to label yourself, what type of model? What type of model would you say you are? Um, it, it's really hard to kind of categorize it as one thing because you have so many different aspects of modeling. Um, I have done a lot of urban modeling, but as well as fashion, um, you know, so I'm not really going to stick myself to one category because I'm open to both ends, both aspects, but the majority of the modeling I've done is urban and high fashion. Where are you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas, um, but at the moment I reside in Miami, Florida. So I always say I'm from Texas. I love the down south. <laughs> Okay, so from the Lone Star State, now, did you move over to Miami because of modeling? No, not at all. I actually, um, my motive wasn't to model. It kind of just all fell into place, and that's how things worked out for me. Um, I originally moved to Miami just because, you know, it's the Sunshine State. It's just something different. Being a rebel at 18 years old, I moved. Now, how did you get into the whole modeling thing? Was it like someone just you know, said that you should do it or you just signed up for it or how did that all come about? Um, I've always had somewhat of an interest. When I was 18, I was scouted in um, Dallas, Texas. I was signed with um, One Track Modeling Agency. Um, I did that for a year and it kind of sparked my interest. You know, um, it was exciting for me, but it kind of, you know, I, being that at that age, I didn't really focus too much on it. Um, when I eventually moved to Miami, like like you said, the opportunities really kind of threw themselves at me. It just seemed like such a different market to be picked up in, and that's how all the the doors just opened for me, and that's how it all started, really. Now you have this really exotic look to yourself. So explain everybody like what your nationality is. <laughs> yeah, it's super different. Um, I mean, I guess it's not too crazy because nowadays everybody's a different race. Um, my mother's Filipina and my father's British. Um, that happened. He was stationed in the Philippines um, in the British military. And anyhow, but things happened and here I am. And that's how you get the nice little bundle of joy known as Michelle Game. Oh, yeah, you say so. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not the only one that's saying so. We've got a lot of people that are asking questions on Twitter. So we definitely have to get into all the questions, or at least most of them. So I apologize in advance if we didn't get to your question. But everybody wants to know, like, what are the physical stats? 36, 25, 37. Okay. And so... I'm 5'4". I'm 5'4". So not the shortest, but I'm not the tallest. So it just it just insinuates all the different curves that you got going there. Yeah, if you want to say that. <laughs> so I, I noticed the one thing is that you're very humble. So what are some of the stereotypes that you've encountered being in a modeling business? Oh my goodness, you get you get so many. You know, especially not ever hearing anybody speak any of the models, and you just see the picture. You know, she's. Uh, sleeping around or doing some crazy stuff to make money or to get where she's at, you know, things like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you just always have to remember, I, I came from a, an amazing family. I'm very close to my family. Um, and you just got to remember where you came from, you know, and there's always going to be people out there judging you or, you know, saying things, hoping to bring you down. But you just got to remember, and there's always one person there that you always think of God, which is what I always, always do first. So, Anytime I'm feeling down or upset about anything, I, I literally just speak to him and everything always goes the way it's supposed to go. I'm very positive. That's the one thing. I'm a very, very positive person. Always, 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 no matter what I'm going through. All right. Now, what do you like to do when you're not modeling? Well, first and foremost, I'm a mother of a beautiful four-year-old little girl. Um, so that's the majority of my time that I'm free. I, I spend time with her, take her to parks, you know, even just 
play Barbies with her. Literally, like that's just amazing to me. Um, other than that, I make time for my friends. I like to go out. I like the nightlife. You know, getting dressed up and dancing with the girls. Um, I like going to eat movies, not so much. Um, I don't know something about me. I can't really sit in a movie for too long. I don't know. I've never really been into that. <laughs> the ADD but, um, kicks in. <laughs> yeah, it kicks in. Um, but no, I spend time with my daughter, and then you know I love traveling. A lot of times with my with the modeling, I get to travel, so that's fortunate with that. And and I have to say, I vouch for it. Her daughter is adorable. I think I probably have a bigger crush on her daughter than I do her, and that's saying a lot. Aww, <laughs> this little girl you. is the that's cutest awesome. little thing. But she is amazing, amazing. Now, I also saw that like you don't just do modeling; like you have a regular nine to five type job. Well, it's still not nine to five because um, I work in a salon. Um, it's Trend Studios in Orlando, Florida. It's downtown. It's a beautiful, beautiful high end salon. Um, so I kind of like make my own hours per se. You know, whenever I have my clientele. Um, so I, I'm really, really into hair. It's something I really enjoy doing and I take a lot of pride in. So yeah, I'm, if I'm not modeling or with my daughter traveling, I am in the salon doing hair. Now, is that something that you want to do long-term goal after modeling or is it just something you just kind of do on the side as a side hustle or? Um, I mean, long-term, to be honest with you, um, is still in like the beauty industry, um, in the medical field though. I would eventually like to get my nursing degree so I can do derma fillers and Botox and things like that, kind of injecting face, you know, but it's still making people feel beautiful. Um, that's more my ultimate goal in the end, but um, doing cosmetology, yes, I, I completely love what I do also, and I, I believe I'll always do some type of cosmetology, you know, whether it's full-time or just to have my own place in my house, you know. Great. Now, we talk about the modeling. What are some of your long-term, short-term goals as far as modeling? Is there any type of uh, magazines that you would like to be in that you haven't been in? Any kind of like goals that you want to reach for? Yeah. Um, well, a couple of the magazines I, I want to hopefully soon um, be featured in would be Maxim, FHM, you know, that whole type because it's so completely opposite from Urban. Um, so I, those are my goals to get into those. Um, I'll be coming on the next issue of Black Men Magazine. Um, I just shot for that last month. And, you know, I want to reach out more to the, the fashion side, more, more so like I'll, the, the most I'll do in modeling would be Playboy. And I know that's kind of extreme, but like that's the most extreme because I feel like they're portrayed at least in a classy way. Um, that's as far as I go. And, that's about it. I pretty much reached most, you know, a lot of my goals. I want to be more, more known. So you talk about Playboy now. Is that something that you're comfortable with doing? Like, I mean, it is nudity. Right. Comfortable. Yes. That's one thing. Um, I, I'm very into, I mean, I'm, I am 27 already. So I feel like as a woman, you know, I think reaching over 25, um, that's when you really become in tune with your body and things like that. So I'm completely comfortable. Okay. And have you ever done anything like that before or would that just be a whole new world for you? It would be a completely new world for me. I have not touched base on anything like that. And like I said, that would be the only thing I ever would do in regards to being that nude. <laughs> well, we need to start campaigning for this because we need to get you on the cover of that real soon. So everybody oh, wants. Oh God, to, I'm sure. I mean, believe me, I think we can do it. A lot of Twitter followers that you have, and let everybody know where they can find you at on Twitter. By the way, um, my Twitter as well as my Instagram is at Michelle Games. It's just my name, M I C H E L L E G A M E, and it's at Michelle Game for Twitter and Instagram. Facebook is the official Michelle Game, which is a fan page. So um, you could just like it. You can't really have friends added on that one, but. You can check out a lot of my work. A lot of my events and new things coming up um, will be posted on there. Cool. Now, a couple more questions. I know you're short on time, but a couple more questions. Someone wanted to know, uh, what kind of music do you listen to? I, I listen to a lot of different music. Um, something funny, I mean, I told you I'm from Dallas. I'm actually a huge fan of down south hip hop. Like, I, I like screwed out slow jams, all that stuff, to be honest with you. Um, 
So that's something funny, but I, I like a lot of different music. I, I listen to rap and hip hop majority though. Okay, so a, a, a girly girl, but still got a little bit of street to you. Completely. I'm super, super girly as far as like fashion and makeup and, you know, like I said, working in the beauty industry. Um, but yeah, I guess I have a little bit of tough skin. Yeah, so she'll be quick to cut you if you cross her the wrong way. <laughs> yes, don't be don't be fooled. No, but you know, I mean you have to have that especially being in in this industry. You have to have really tough skin and and accept that there's so many different personalities out there and you'll you'll literally meet every single one. The 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 sweetest to the the hardest. Very true, true indeed. Now, people want to know, we get this question all the time, everybody wants to know, are you single? Are you taken? Are you married? I am neither. Um, for sure not married. Of course, I wish I was. I, I love that. Eventually, I'm hopeless romantic. Um, but no, I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm single and I don't want to say I'm looking because I'm not. But, um, you know, there's always that chance somebody could sweep me off my feet because I'm, I'm open for that for sure. There you go, guys. So if you are, if you have that game and you want to sweep her off her feet, she's willing to be swept. So what type of uh, <laughs> what type of guy do you like? I don't categorize. I honestly, I you know, I've met a lot of different people, and it's not any certain type. I just like a sweet guy, somebody who you know takes control and knows what they want as well, but also puts me first. There you go. So a caring guy, guys... you know, what, what most women want, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's a simple thing. And all the guys that keep asking me, like, what does she like? What kind of guy does she like? I hope that I was able to fulfill your eHarmony profile there for you. So <laughs> if Aww, you're interested, thank you. <laughs> you can hit her up at Michelle Game. And any kind of uh, events you got coming up other than the Black Pins Magazine? Coming up, um, I have a couple calendars, but in another magazine that hopefully I'll be shooting maybe in Jamaica. Um, but I don't want to give any names yet because nothing's really confirmed. Um, I'll be hosting at a club in Tampa um, September 9th. So that's coming up. I'll be in Vegas this weekend um, and the following weekend for Labor Day. Um, I got a couple events I'll be working there. So you can keep in touch with that. Look up my Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and I'll be posting photos. There you go. You can also check out MixMasterBee.com if there's an event and she's in your area. We'll be for first to let you know that she's going to be there. We appreciate you coming on to the show. I know you were you know, short on time, but I really appreciate you taking a couple minutes out to talk to the fans. Is there anything else you want to let them know before we get out of here? Um, just stay positive and thank you guys for listening. I love you. There you have it, Miss Michelle Game. We thank you again for tuning in, and uh, we hope to talk to you real soon. Thank you. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Hey, it's Michelle Game, and you're listening to Mixed Master B on MMB Radio.